spare time projects here and uh, a couple of users have seen my Franke Affinity review and uh, have asked me to do a takedown, sort of a takedown and how to clean video of it and it's been a while and uh, I kept neglecting it and finally got a day to do it so um, I'm going to show you kind of a quick little disassembly of the Franke Affinity 12 gauge uh, and you can see my other video of it when I got it and got the review of it you can see it I'll put the link on the video here um, but this is just going to be a takedown and show you how to clean it but uh, first you you have the gun of course you you know make sure check make sure it's empty nothing's in it and then you uh, come up here and if you if you've owned any other shotguns in the past you you know how to do this already but you come up here to this knob you loosen it up take it off set it aside and then you have your forearm here and uh, the thing about the Franke here is that you you can pull it off but it stops you can see here you get you only get about an inch out of it and that is because the bolt at this point needs to be closed so what you do is you close the bolt and then forearm pulls right off just be careful with this the spring um, not to damage it you know don't, don't yank it off but remove it you have your forearm here and uh, the forearm separates from the barrel pretty easily just uh, slide it back like towards where the rest of the gun would be just like that get you a better view here it's, it's over the sloop just it's on here and you slide it off like that there's your forearm so you set that aside then you have the rest of the gun and to take the bolt out um, you have to take the, your charging rod or whatever you would call it, charging handle, um, that, and you basically have to push it out. It's it's like pressed into the bolt. So what I do is take a pair of pliers and take a cloth rag, put the rag around the charging handle so you don't damage it with the pliers, put the pliers on, and it takes some pulling, but it'll snap off. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, just for time's sake, but once you pull that off, the whole bolt, which, you know, the bolt's right here, and this little arm that goes around the spring, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a there's two little arms here, that is part of the bolt, basically, and it all comes out, uh, and that's how you get to the rest of the receiver, and you can clean your bolt off, because as you can see, this is... This is a after uh, this is after about six or seven hundred rounds, and it's still pretty clean. You know, it's like stainless, but um, I figured it, after seven hundred rounds, I need to clean it anyway, even though it hasn't started failing or anything. Um, and trigger assembly: uh, just take a small pin or screwdriver, and there's one pin right there that you need to push out. So put your screwdriver on it, try to do this on the camera, uh, and then you just tap it out. And it should push out pretty easily. Comes out the other side, finish pulling it out, don't lose it. And then your trigger assembly will pull out. You pull top first and then towards the front of the gun, it pulls right off. There's your trigger assembly. F for Franke. Um, as you can see, after like I said, six or seven hundred rounds, starting to get dirty, but hasn't failed me yet. Not one single failure in this gun. Uh, and then you get to the rest of the receiver. So to put it back together, you do the reverse here with the trigger guard. Push it in back first towards the stock. Push it and when you push it in, it needs to go all the way back. If 
I can do this backwards for you guys. Um, the back edge of the trigger guard needs to go in and then back against the stock like that all the way down against the stock then the rest of the trigger guard the front here just should snap right in try to do this on the camera here no there we go just like that and like I said, once you get it all the way in, just make sure it's seated against the stock here. Push, push it against the stock really good. Then you take your pin, push it back in, and you may need to kind of pound on it with your hand, but mine just slides right in. Depends on how well broken in your gun is. Uh, just make sure it's in evenly on both sides. Then you take your barrel and forearm, and like I said, reverse of what you did. So here's the end of the barrel. This is the gun side of the barrel. You take your forearm and you slide it up from the back side of the barrel towards the front over this loop. Simple as that. And it's on. Then take it. And it may be easier at this point to close the bolt to put it back on. But I'm going to leave it open until I get it there. Uh, so you slide your forearm, carefully not to ruin the spring, down onto the gun, like so. And it comes down to there where the bolt is. And here's where you open, or open your bolt all the way. Come on. There we go. And then you slide it the rest of the way on. Make sure it's seated all the way. Give it a tug. Make sure there's no gaps between the forearm or the barrel and the receiver. Once it's on all the way, grab your cap, twist it on, but be careful because you gotta kinda put it into the forearm and then make sure you don't cross thread it. And tighten it up. It'll start clicking, if you hear that. And just do it hand tight tight as you can by hand don't reef on it and there you go make sure everything's tight nothing moves around check your function everything's good fires and you're good to go so that is the basic disassembly and where to clean your Franke Affinity so, thanks for the users that suggested it. Finally got it up for you guys. Sorry it's been so long. Uh, there you go. Stay tuned for more Spare Time Projects out.